On April 1st of last year, Morgan acquired the collection of James Fold. And it's a major acquisition for the Morgan of more than 10,000 items. Mr. Fold basically collected first editions. And one of the things he liked to do after he acquired a first edition was to uh, augment that edition, make it more personal. So for instance, if he uh, acquired the Ninth Symphony full score of Beethoven, the first printing, he would want to buy something else that would animate that purchase. He collected playbills of first performances, which you will also see in the exhibit, letters from composers and letters from the performers of the works, anything that he felt could animate that principal acquisition. As I said, mostly he collected first editions. So music manuscripts were not a major priority for him. However, he did make an exception and he bought a sketch for Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. So this is a wonderful acquisition for the Morgan. Beethoven sketched his pieces over and over again. He would take a motive, write it down when it came to him, work on it, write these things in his sketchbooks. He also had pocket sketchbooks that he would take with him uh, on his walks and annotate whatever he came into his mind. Some of the pages from this sketchbook were removed because the sketchbook itself contained sketches for the seventh and eighth symphony of Beethoven. And the, the Seventh Symphony was a very popular work and uh, collectors were eager to get anything related to that manuscript that they could have. So we happen to have the lower half of one of the pages that was removed. And if you look at this sketch, you can see here's the germ idea, the half notes for the opening of the work, which occur in the edition over here. And then up on top, you can see the reiterated figure, the basso ostinato, the bum, 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 that goes throughout the entire movement, and it has a kind of hypnotic effect. This particular first edition is unique. Uh, there are some that feel that this is not really the first edition of the work, but a proof copy. The reason being is that it has so many mistakes in it and they feel that the subsequent edition is really the first edition. But this is the first, it's unique, it's Mr. Folds. <laughs> so it has immense value.